What's happening everyone and in this video I'm gonna show you what to do in case your Apple Watch looks like this or in other words I will show you everything what you need to know about the zoom feature I will explain everything like what to do if you happen to be in a situation like this or how you can zoom in on a picture how you can zoom out how you can zoom in and control it from anywhere so let's get started with this video right now Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to make sure if the zoom feature is actually turned on or enabled in your watch, in your settings. So make sure to go to this general section and make sure to click on accessibility and here you can see the zoom option. So toggle it on or toggle it off. I prefer to have it turned on because it's really great feature and I will explain it to you how exactly that works. So in case you happen to be in a situation where your Apple Watch is simply zoomed in and it looks terrible, you're not able to control it, just double tap it using your two fingers, just like that, and the Apple Watch comes back to the normal state. So this is how you get out of it. And well, the logic behind it is that if you do it once again, it's gonna be zoomed in. So it's really simple and it's a really powerful feature because it allows you to control the Apple Watch. It allows you to see what exactly there is on the screen, especially for those 38 millimeters old Apple Watches, then it can be really difficult to see sometimes what there is. So make sure to zoom in using this gesture. By the way, if you are new here on this channel and in case you don't want to miss the future content and everything that relates to it, then think about subscribing because I try to post content like this all the time and make sure you never miss anything important in the future. What's also really great about this feature is the way how you can control this. So if you zoom it in, I mean, just like that, you can also use it the very same way, just like you use it on your iPhone, with the difference that on your iPhone you double tap using your three fingers, but here you can move them. If you, if you use your three fingers once again, you can move around these icons and you can move to see which area should be zoomed in on. So uh, similarly on the iPhone, you use two fingers. So if you zoom in just like that, you zoom in once again, and now you can use it so you can scroll using your two fingers, which is really handy. And, and if you don't want to zoom in completely, just double tap and you can control the zoom. So just like that you can zoom it in and back out so it's really it's really great thing i'm not sure if you can see it through my fingers but it's really easy and the way it works is really comfortable for me or what you can also use if you are zoomed in is the scrolling wheel and you can actually get all the 